Hey, hey, Girl Scouts. My name is Brooke, and I'm a Programs and Partnerships Manager out of Girl Scouts of Western Ohio's Southern Region, located in Cincinnati, Ohio. I am coming to you live from my quarantine headquarters. Hi, Aubrey. Very happy to have you join. Um, but I'm coming to you live from my uh, quarantine headquarters, um, and we are going to talk a little bit about some of our citizenship and civics badges. Now, originally, we had decided, hi, Samantha, we had decided to talk about these badges in light of Ohio's primary elections. Now, I know we do have some um, folks joining in from out of state today. So um, if you're not aware, Ohio has decided to postpone um, the primary elections due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, so since it is an election year and um, there is a lot going on in politics and government right now with the COVID-19 outbreak, we still found this to be a really exciting time to talk about some of our civics and citizen ba citizenship badges. Um, also, hi Carly. Um, I am keeping an eye on our chat log over here. So one of the badges that I'm going to highlight in particular is actually one of our sets of legacy badges. It's our citizen badge. Um, and for those of you that maybe aren't familiar, a legacy badge is a um, badge that spans all of our different grade levels. So it starts out in daisies at the kindergarten and first grade level and then goes all the way up through our um, seniors and ambassadors in high school. Hi, Lily. Thank you for tuning in. So um, our citizen badge, legacy badge, starts out at the daisy level with our good neighbor badge. Now, some of these badges um, have some steps that you definitely would not be able to do while social distancing. But for some of the badges, I will highlight some of the things that um, can translate really well to our social quarantine. So for the good neighbor badge, this is definitely a great time to talk to your Daisy Girl Scouts about being a good neighbor. Um, you know, in Ohio, we're doing a lot to practice social distancing. So why talking to your kindergartners and first graders about why they're off school? Why maybe we're not going to visit our grandparents right now? Things like that. Um, and then some of the other steps can be completed when we're out of social quarantine. Hi, Joey and Claire. Nice of you to join us at the brownie level for this set of badges. We have our celebrating community badge. Now, again, there's some steps of this that might not be fit for social quarantine, but one of my colleagues, Katie, is actually going to highlight this afternoon how you can complete one of the steps of this badge while you are um, isolating. So that's going to be happening on our Instagram stories. So be sure to tune in to Instagram this afternoon to find out how your troop or your girl can complete a step of the Celebrating Community Brownie Badge in social quarantine. At the junior level, we have the Inside the Government Badge. Now this is one that I think would be really fun for a troop to do while you're in social quarantine or your social distancing. So um, decide what being an active citizen means to you is the first step. This is a great time to talk to your girls about what it means to be an active citizen, what steps are they taking to ensure that they are um, being a good global active citizen. Um, Laura and Emma, who are joining us. Thank you, Carrie. We are trying a new way to support social distancing, so thank you for your support. And hello from Amelia. Um, so nice of you to join us. So back to the Inside the Government Junior Badge. The next step is go look inside the government. Um, one step that I thought of that would be really nice for um, social distancing for especially our Ohio juniors is perhaps have your girls tune in together to go one of government Governor Mike DeWine's addresses and then talk about it afterwards. It's a different way to look inside the government and this is a really unique time where we're seeing the government at work every single day. 
Next, we, you can look into laws. So again, a great time to, while we're at home, home from school, um, do a little bit of research on some of the laws um, and especially some of the new laws around COVID-19. And then report on issues. This would be a great way to do a Skype meeting with the rest of your troop, have the girls research their issues, look into laws, and then share their findings. And last, get involved in the government. <clears throat> this is a great one that I was thinking of for some of our Girl Scouts that might be tuning in from out of council from some of the states that haven't taken uh, the, quite the same measures that Ohio has. So are your girls still going to school and they feel that they shouldn't anymore? Um, is their grandparents' nursing home still accepting visitors? You know, this is a great time for them to get involved and write in and um, make sure that they are um, taking part in the things that they're passionate about. Um, hi to Casey and hi to Donna. Thanks for tuning in. The next batch that I'm going to talk about is our Cadet Finding Common Ground. This is one of my favorite badges, especially in an election year, um, to have your girls talk about finding common ground. I think especially the last election was really polarizing for a lot of folks. For, so talking to your girls about how they can really come together um, and support each other. So as part of finding common ground, the um, first step is getting to know someone different than you. This is a great step that you can do while you're social distancing. We're all taking efforts to make sure that we're still getting our social fill by doing FaceTime calls and things like that. So set up a FaceTime call for your girls with someone different than them. Perhaps you have a friend that lives in another country or um, you, know, you have a family friend that practices a different religion. Have your girls FaceTime them and ask them questions. Do you some cultural swapping while you are stuck at home. Next, you make decisions as a group. Again, at the cadet level, we're really making our Girl Scout meetings um, girl-led. So let your girls decide how they're going to move forward while we're social distancing. Um, what kind of meetings do they want to have during the, this three-week period in Ohio where um, our troops are unable to meet? Things like that. Explore a civic debate. There are tons of debates that you can access online. So have your girls watch a debate together and then talk about it afterwards. Um, understand a compromise. There are definitely plenty of compromises that they could kind of research. And then find common ground through mediation. Again, this is a really fun one that the, the girls could do um, while practicing their social distancing. I do want to highlight one more cadet badge that falls into our citizenship category, and that is our netiquette badge. With a lot of classes moving to online, this is a wonderful time to knock out your netiquette badge and talk a little bit more about email etiquette, about what it means to um, have a really insightful comment on their group or class page online. Um, and talk about commenting, blogging, and also talk to your girls about the safety of social media and also, um, you know, different articles and things like that that they may be seeing, how to tell um, if it's a good source, things like that. So netiquette would definitely be a fun one to do with your cadet girls in um, grades six through eight. Um, just taking a moment to see who is commenting. Um, someone commented that they love the Common Ground badge. I do too. It's one of my favorites. Hi, Erin. So nice of you to join us. And hi, um, Jennifer and Elizabeth. Very happy to have you here as well. So the last couple of badges that I'm going to highlight are at our senior and ambassador levels. We have behind the ballot. Again, this is an amazing one to do during an election year because a lot of the things that are parts of this badge are really pertinent to what's happening in society. So find out more about elections. Research the ins and outs of voting. Get out in the vote. Plan a campaign and explore voting in other countries. There is so much free time to really explore these topics, and I love the idea of having the girls in your troop plan a campaign over these next three weeks and then come together at the end and do a Skype session to um, kind of share with everyone else the campaign that they have um, set up. 
The last one that I'm going to highlight is our Ambassador Public Policy Badge. Again, this is a great time to be exploring public policy. So the first step is find out how act activists advocate for change. This is a great time to see how some of the activists in our community have advocated for change around the COVID-19 outbreak. Engage as a global citizen. We're all doing our part as global citizens right now, doing social distancing and staying home. So definitely um, there's a lot for your girls to explore around that. Dig into a national or state policy and also explore local or community policies. There are tons of state policies rolling out every day around COVID-19 and um, definitely lots to explore around local and community policies. And then see public policy creation and action. Again, in Ohio especially, this is happening almost every day with Governor Mark, Mike DeWine's um, addresses to us all. So if you're not in Ohio um, and maybe your state governor is not doing addresses and things like that, tune into Ohio's. Learn a little bit more about what other states are doing um, in the wake of this global pandemic. So um, it looks like Faith is here. Hi, Faith. Thank you so much for tuning in. And someone said that they love that GSWO is trying to keep our girls earning badges. Me too. This is a great time to really be proactive with your badge learning and earning and um, find other ways to kind of meet some of the badge requirements. So I wanted to open it up to you all in the comment section. Are there any of these suggestions that you're really excited about and you think your troop is going to roll with? Or are there any of the badges that I've highlighted that your troop is planning on um, doing something else to try to um, accommodate and earn that badge during our social distancing. I'd also love to see any ideas of how troops have earned these badges on their own outside of social distancing. I always think it's really nice to swap ideas and see what others folks are doing. So if anyone has anything that they'd like to comment or share, um, I'll kind of highlight what folks are saying in the comment log. But just... Um, like I said, I'll keep an eye on that, but so you don't have to sit here and watch me stare at our comment log. Um, I did want to highlight again, tune in this afternoon to our Instagram page. Um, my colleague Katie is going to be posting some Instagram stories with specific ideas of how your troop can earn um, some of the steps of some of these badges. So definitely check that out. That'll be really exciting. Um, and also just a plug for some of our new badges that are coming out this summer. Definitely keep an eye out because we have a whole slew of civics and citizenship badges coming out this summer in our new rollout for girls of all ages. So again, um, outside of the COVID-19 breakout, this is a great year to talk to your girls a little bit more about the ins and outs of government, how to be an active global citizen, and more about citizenship and civics. Um, Marie commented that she had the girls take an 8 by 11 piece of paper and learn how to fold it as a flag as part of the Celebrating Communities badge. I love that idea. Again, that's our brownie Celebrating Communities. And um, the girls folded an 8 by 11 piece of paper to learn how to fold a flag. So that is a great way to teach your girls a little bit more about that badge while we are social distancing and at home. Um, someone else commented, awesome idea, Marie. I agree, I love that idea. Um, if we don't have Instagram, will the information from this afternoon be posted on Facebook? That is a great question, Melinda. We can definitely make sure that some of that information is being shared on here as well so that you have ideas for the different batches and things like that. Um, if you haven't seen yet, we are taking the opportunity to really highlight throughout the next three weeks a lot of our different senior and ambassador programs um, on our Instagram stories. So definitely if you are a caregiver of a senior or ambassador girl, encourage them to follow our Instagram page. Um, and it's linked in some of our um, pieces um, that are floating around social media outlining some of the different um, and, or Facebook Lives that we're doing. So definitely encourage them to follow along so they can get more information about highest awards, trips, and all sorts of exciting things like that. 
Um, someone said, thanks for kicking off our online opportunities. Um, we will also, Melinda, be posting our Instagram stories to our Facebook stories. So you can tune in on Facebook stories to catch up on all of that. Um, I am going to kind of sign off as long as there's no other questions. But again, thank you for joining me. Today was just an overview of some of our civics and citizenship badges. But um, over the next couple of weeks, we will be doing um, kind of deeper dives into some of the different badges. We'll be earning steps of the badges at home and things like that. So Definitely keep an eye on um, our Facebook Live for some of those other posts that we'll be making. We have some really exciting things planned. I know personally I'm really excited about some of the badges that I'll be teaching. Um, and we cannot wait to have you all join us. Also, shout out to Tara. I see you just joined us. Um, so thank you all for participating in our first Facebook Live. And definitely, um, if your troop does any of the steps of any of these badges or has another really fun idea, make sure you are posting it to social media and tagging us so that we can see all the fun things your troops are doing and share. Thank you all, and um, tune in at 2 p.m. to find out a little bit more about our um, patch program uh, surrounding the suffrage centennial. Bye!